Okay, Joyce, um, <clears throat> doing this critique on your photojournalism here. Okay, so uh, let's see what you got here. We'll kind of look at the uh, the whole overall thing here. Okay, so you're packing up the car. You're going to uh, like a camping place here. You got a little hiking stuff going on. A little here's some canoes. You're eating. Got a dog. Um, taking a hike. and ready to go back home again here at the end. Okay, so let's take a look through this. <clears throat> okay, so you're shooting with the D300, uh, ISO 400, that's great. Um, all right, putting packing up the car. Um, you know, whenever you're doing these kinds of things, one of the things you can do is try and put yourself, like this is kind of a literal shot, put yourself inside the car. You know, maybe you're inside the car looking back at somebody loading up the car. I don't know if that's you or somebody shooting your picture. Okay, and then the dog's getting in the car. Same kind of thing. Get an angle. Try some angles out. Instead of, like, being just eye level, try something out where maybe you're shooting from down low at the dog and you, you know, and the dog jumping in the car. Um, you know, just a little bit, uh, a little bit of uh, um different looking kind of thing. Okay, so here you are, uh, a sign. Always love um, these different signs giving a sense of place. That's good. Okay, now a shot like this. Um, uh, here we, you know, you're coming up to the uh, to the cabin. Uh, the dog's running right there, uh, but I'm kind of missing a little bit of the dog. Uh, in terms of composition, um, you know, here, you know, checking out the cabin, Maybe a little something, you know, you got all this rocky foreground right here. Not really in anything that contributes to the to the picture. I think I would have gotten something, um, you know, same kind of thing. Maybe you're inside looking at you or whoever that is coming in, in the door. Okay, so not, staying at Turkey Ridge Cabin. Okay, very nice. I like this shot very much. It has a nice... Um, uh, sense of detail with this uh, handwritten little sign on this little blackboard thing. Very nice. And the fact you shot it at ISO 3200 so that you could get a uh, you know hand holdable shot inside there. Okay, so uh, kind of a shot like this. Um, your action. So you've got uh, you know you can either crop or. Uh, zoom in. So essentially um, showing a lot of area around your picture here, but you know, you're essentially your picture being uh, you're taking a hike and uh, maybe get down at dog level and, and, and look up, um, you know, a little bit, you know, with a little bit wider angle lens or something. But uh, and this is being just kind of a, a little bit more of a linear kind of shot. Um, this is a cute shot. Very nice. Um, and uh, I guess I might have, you know, shown a little bit more of the, eh, well, that's, well, that's fine. That's, that's just a cute shot all by itself. That's fine. Um, <laughs> um, something like that. Maybe not the greatest shot, a butt shot like that. Um, you know, and then, so your ISO is 400. But you got to be careful of your expo your um, your shutter speeds because uh, right here down at a twentieth of a second, maybe you want to open up your aperture so that you have a little bit faster shutter speed. Twentieth of a second is tough to handhold. Uh, and this is interesting too. You have uh, working on a puzzle. In terms of getting the shot, um, maybe a more interesting shot would be. And I love the fact that you shot it at a 3200 uh, ISO. Get down low on the table level, maybe uh, closer into the puzzle, and and look back at your face, without seeing the face right here. Um, kind of missing out on on a human element there. Um, you know, definitely would be better seeing uh, seeing the face, seeing your face there. Um, <clears throat> this is nice. Looks like you got down a little bit lower, uh, and the dog is resting. That's good. Um, also, nice that you shot at uh, 3,200. Okay, good. 
Okay, here's a you know morning shot. Now you might want instead of getting like a shot like this, you might want to set it in relationship to the cabin um, because you know it's just it's a nice sort of nature shot. But it you're really staying you're staying at these cabins, and uh, you want to you know maybe have include like a roof line of the cabin uh, in here too. Um, getting ready for a hike. Okay, now. In terms of getting ready for a hike, it's hard to see that you're getting ready. It could be like you're doing anything. Um, so you definitely want to show like uh, filling up water bottles or, you know, uh, getting your meals prepared or something like that. Uh, your ISO here at 200 is fine for outside. But uh, tough to see what it is that you're that you're doing right there. Now this is a nice shot, very nice shot, um, because it it kind of wraps everything into the fact that you've got you've you've got a hike going on here, and the dog is interested. You're all looking at the same thing. You got the big icicle right there. That's great, nicely composed, very nice shot. Uh, and then a little action. Okay, now you also have zoomed in here, so you've got a telephoto lens here. I see. So, uh, you know, definitely make use of that telephoto lens, you know, getting shots, close-up shots of the dog. Don't, don't just worry about the, um, um, like for the armadillo here. Um, and a beautiful shot here, you know, in terms of uh, going through this natural uh, archway right here. That's very nice. I like that a lot. Okay. Taking a breath. Okay, so this is good. It would also be it would be nice to maybe she see uh, you know uh, whatever she's looking at there, whatever you're looking at. Um, and a beautiful, beautiful uh, you know sunset shot there. So that's um, really very nice. But once again, to try and um, you know if the cabins were close by, if you could put the cabin in relationship to the um, to the picture there too uh, and then ready to head home now in terms of he like heading home uh, hard to say whether you're coming or going so there's got to be something that uh, you know something that you you're doing here that uh, relates to going home um, um, I'm not quite sure what that might be but um, now here's definitely you know coming home um, where you're coming back, but you might want to check your white balance on this too, because this is looking a little pinkish, and this one's looking a little greenish. Um, but ISO-wise, they look just fine. But uh, anyway, so um, I guess what I would recommend now that I'm looking at everything here is um, try different angles, get down, you know, dog level in some cases. Uh, here you had the armadillo shot with the zoom lens. Zoom in on some of these shots here too, like this portrait too. That would have been a nice shot, you know, in terms of zoomed in on the portrait. Show a face in here. Don't show a dog's butt there. Um, get down on dog level. This shot right here uh, can't tell what, you know, what you're getting, you know, what is actually happening there. Just the, the you have the caption of getting ready, but. It's not really showing anything getting ready. Love the fact that you caught a little picture of the armadillo and love this, uh, you know, this right here. You probably could get a couple more shots of this very interesting um, natural archway here. Put yourself in relationship to to uh, the uh, the environment. And when you're going home, uh, make it obvious that, you know, that, okay, we're, we're, we're heading home. Maybe a cup of coffee or something. Uh, and uh, you're walking out to the car or something. I'm not really sure how, how quite to end it. But uh, you know, going in the door, that's kind of nice. But maybe a kind of final shot where you've, uh, you're taking it easy on the couch or taking a nap or something. So um, anyway, um, well done, and th thanks very much.